What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So today I'm going to be showing you how I maintain my red hair and how I keep my hair so healthy even after dyeing it. So I've been dyeing my hair since I was about 13 or 14 years old, but not fully dyeing it. Sometimes we'd do light highlights, sometimes we would fully darken my whole head because in this, my natural hair color is very light brown. So in the summer it gets very sun bleached and it just looked bad. I didn't like it. It looked unhealthy even though it was really unhealthy and like not dyed. Uh, so I started dyeing it and ever since I would dye it pretty much every six months to a year so it wasn't too often so that definitely kept my hair from be being overly damaged like my hair is very well taken care of and I do take good care of my hair to keep it healthy especially with dyeing it I've never fully bleached my hair so that probably has helped once you bleach it it definitely changes your whole texture so and it won't ever change that until you cut it off, which I just did. I cut 10 inches off my head a few, about six weeks ago, right before my birthday. And that definitely just restarted my whole hair process and just started new and cut off all the dead ends, even though I didn't have much because how I don't have dead ends is that I don't use heat teal tools that much. I don't use strainers, I don't use blow dryers. And that definitely helped save my head from being frizzy, having a ton of breakage, and what's not. Also, I don't dye my hair that often. I do about every six to eight weeks when I have the red hair, but I use a very low developer. So the developer I use is only volume 20. And that is good for if you are just revitalizing the color you have. If you are trying to go from brunette, like solid brunette to red, you'll need to do a 30. Like when I first did this, like when I went start, I started going red about two years ago, and for the very first one I did, I we did a volume thirty. So after that, it made it easier to keep it this color. So it definitely gives, even when it's fading, it fades to a coppery red. So then that's easier base to go off of than a dark brown. So the color that I use, and I just re-dyed my hair yesterday, so I have even washed it technically. I did somewhat like get the color out, but I haven't shampooed it. So this is the truest color you'll see of this hair color. So I use the Clairol Professionals Flare Permanent Cream in Burgundy, so 5VVR. I've been using this dye for the last like three times that I've dyed my hair this color. I really like it. It's easy to do. It's a cream dye so it's not like you need a bottle to work it through. It's a lot easier to work through the color and whatnot. And that color it's like the perfect like it's called violet burgundy or light violet burgundy so it's not like pure pinky red. It's more of the coppery violet toned under red like undertone of the red. So it fades very natural versus with pinkier dyes, it definitely goes straight pink once it's fading. This goes more coppery, so it does look good as it's fading. So that's why I recommend this color. But of course, everyone's hair is different, so it won't always look this color. But I'm going to show you how I maintain it this color. And the method I use is good for like any like dyed hair, but you'll need to change shampoo and stuff like that. But it's like a good method to keep color strong and vibrant like this. So the shampoo I use is a solid shampoo bar by Lush and it's the red one or the new. It's called new. I don't know why, but it's called new and it's the red one and it smells like cinnamon. Oh my goodness. It smells so good and it lasts me forever. This is my second one. I just ran through the other one that I got over summer. So over six months ago. So it's been about seven months since I've had that and I've been using it. I use it about twice a week because that's how often I wash my hair. That's another thing that I'll get to is I only wash, when I have my hair dyed like this, I only wash my hair about twice a week, which I kind of pull off. I don't get, I don't sweat that much. I'm not that oily other than on my face. So when usually after I go riding, I'll wash it or I'll put baby powder. I don't use sh dry shampoo because dry shampoo is horrible on your hair. I use baby powder so that soaks it up and then it comes out of your hair so it won't be sitting on there like building up the oils in your hair but I only wash it 
my hair about twice a week. I if I have a special event, I'll do three times, but it's really pushing it. I don't like doing it because the color fades so quickly. Red is the worst color to try to keep in your hair because it keeps bleeding till it's done, till it's fully out of your hair. It'll bleed, 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 bleed. Like all my towels are pink right now and copper and all this stuff. But the shampoo bar lasted me about seven months after washing it, my hair twice a week for the last seven months. So that's crazy that it's lasted me this long and it comes or you have to buy the separate but it's a little shampoo container so it's really good for travel and they have a ton of different ones so there's ones for blondes for brunettes for just regular hair for if your hair's dry things like that so you can definitely just go in and see what you need and they'll help you out but I definitely recommend this it smells really good and it's really easy to work with you just Spray some water on this, make sure your hair is damp, work it through your root area, and then you're done. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, and it smells really good, and it definitely gives like a good shine to your head and really cleans off the oils and whatnot. And this is not sulfate free because it is a shampoo bar. It needs to be able to lather. If it didn't, it wouldn't, it would be like a bar of soap that couldn't lather kind of thing. So it does has sulfates, but since it is the tinted red, it kind of counteracts the trying to strip the color, but not really kind of thing, if you know what I mean. But I definitely recommend these. These are amazing and I am hooked on these. And they're only, this one's only $10, I believe. So they're cheap and lasting you seven months, you save a lot of money on shampoo. For conditioner, I use the Big Sexy Hair Sulfate-Free Volumizing Conditioner. So this is sulfate-free, so it's good for dyed heads. I really like the Big Sexy Hair line. It's really good. Uh, my hair, my mom's hairstylist recommends it and all of that. So we definitely kind of stick around these. And they come in such big bottles that they last for a while. But this one has vitamin B3, lemongrass, and botanical extracts. And... It's free of gluten, parabens, and salt, so it doesn't coat your hair with that nasty, waxy stuff that makes your hair feel really silky, but it's really not. It's just building oil on top of your hair and locking it in and making it feel like it's really soft, but it's not, and it's horrible for your hair. So this is really good for your hair. This is the like fourth bottle I've gone through, and it's huge. So this is our newest bottle. So I love it. I recommend it. It's amazing. So like I said earlier, I don't blow dry my hair that often or use heat tools and whatnot so when I do use it I definitely use a detangler but a detangler is good for also protection anti-frizz anti and all this other stuff like it's crazy so this is by Redken it's one united all-in-one multi-benefit treatment so it's pretty much a deep conditioner but also a heat protectant and also a frizz shield and all this stuff it's expensive this bottle is $25, but it's lasted us a few months for sure, so that's already a good sign. I love this for after I get out of, my sh out of the shower, I spray my hair down, and I comb through it and make sure it doesn't break because this does give it really silky, like soft feeling, so it doesn't like pull my hair and break it off as I'm brushing through it. And it's good to leave in. It doesn't give your hair like an oiliness to it. So my battery just died and I had to wait 15 minutes for it to charge so I could film this video in my next video. But what I was saying, if I remember right, I was talking about this. Uh, this is just a really great product. It keeps your hair really strong and shiny and healthy. Some other tips I have is do like DIY face masks. So like avocado, honey, some people do mayonnaise. I would never do mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. It makes me gag. Like it's horrible. And when I worked at Subway, I had to deal with it all the time and... Uh-uh, I could never, but uh, mayonnaise, eggs, honey, like those things are really good to mix into like a, uh, like a little like mask to put on your hair and leave it on. I only do those about two times a month. I don't do them too often because my hair can get decently oily because I do ride horses. So I'm wearing a helmet and all builds up here. So it can kind of promote too much oiliness. But if it's done right, it makes your hair really strong, healthy, and shiny. So another tip to have really healthy hair is to trim it about every 8 to 12 weeks. I went through a phase where I just didn't have time to get my hair cut. So I didn't have a hair trim in probably about 3 years. 
and then I got it cut and it was only an inch of damage that I really needed so it did stay really healthy because I don't use heat products or anything like that. So I kind of restarted the hair growth kind of thing so now it's just past like just above my boobs area so now I'm going to start doing the whole every like 8 to 12 week kind of thing of a trim just a light trim just get any split ends because I do dye my hair and dyeing your hair does promote more like split ends so if you just nip them in the butt kind of thing and then they don't have time to really spread and like split apart kind of thing okay so guys that is it I hope you guys like this please comment down below any questions you have if I forgot about anything and leave any requests down below too. So I will see you guys on Saturday for my next video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and like the video right down below and leave comments for me as well. So I'll see you guys Saturday and have a good day. Bye guys!